Hey everybody, Melissa here. So have you ever had data in a PDF that you needed to do some kind of calculations with? You may have a list of items and they want the cost each and then they want an extended cost. Well, you know, you really can't do that in Adobe even if you have Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So what we're gonna look at today is how to extract that data from a PDF, take it over into Excel, and make any changes or calculations that we need to do. I can't wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a PDF we've received from Mel's Fruit Company, and they're asking for information about our products. They're looking for the cost each, the extended cost for this quantity, and then at the bottom, they're looking for a total cost for everything that's on here. Currently, there is not a way within Adobe to do any type of calculations, formulas, or functions. So what I'm gonna do is take this data and move it over to Excel and do all of my calculations there. So we can just copy and paste this data from Adobe into Excel, but let me show you what happens. So I'm gonna start here at fruit, and then I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to click shift and after total cost. Then we're gonna right click, and we're gonna copy with formatting. And when it's copied to the clipboard, jump to Excel, control V. Now it looks kind of okay, right? We've lost some of our lines, some of them we have. We have merged cells here, unmerged cells here. So it creates a little bit of a cleanup issue. So I want to show you a way to do it differently that we're still going to have some cleanup, but it's not going to be like this. So with the data highlighted, we're going to right click, export selection as, and then we're gonna do our drop down and we're gonna choose as an Excel workbook. And I'm gonna rename this one Fruit and I'm gonna tell it to save. Now this box will pop up and it says that Adobe is attempting to launch Excel. Are you okay with this? Yes, we are. Now if you notice, things look a little bit better, right? With a few exceptions. If you noticed, it has merged cells here. It's merged them here. But if you look at the bottom here, it has added some borders, it has done the lines on some cells, it hasn't done them on others, but the biggest issue, if we look at these lines, it has exported them as a shape. That is not how I entered them into Adobe, but that is how it is translating them. So this is what I would recommend doing. I'm going to remove this bottom line, number one and first, because we know we need the total cost, so we do not need this line, and it's merged it, which is causing some issues up here. So we're gonna delete this. And then I'm gonna go ahead, because formatting problems drive me crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and select column B, and I'm going to format these all to the left so they look the same. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we don't really need these, and if we did, we're gonna have some issues trying to unmerge them. Like if I try to unmerge C and D, it's going to cause a mess, like part of our heading's gone. Um, it didn't work down here at all, so I'm gonna put that back. And the simplest thing to do is just select your data that's there. So I'm gonna shift and go over to my quantity, control shift down to the bottom, and I'm just gonna copy it. And then I'm just gonna take it to another workbook. And we're gonna have some formatting issues to do here, which is okay. But then we can go ahead and add our cost each and our extended cost, do our formatting, do our calculations, add our total cost to the bottom, and then the data will be ready to either send as an attachment or go back into Adobe and enter it manually. And there you have it. That's how you can extract data from a PDF to Excel and make any changes or add functions, formulas, or anything else that you need to do. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and subscribe to my channel before you go. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.